So first a little bit about me. I am normally a professor at Tallinn University of Technology in Tallinn in Estonia. Uh, I also work in the Estonian Central Bank as a supervisor of research. Uh, every year I am here in Vilnius for one or two weeks teaching international finance, either the whole course or part of the course. So what is international finance about? There are two different versions of it. One is a version which is about the firms and how the firms uh, act in international financial markets. This is not what we are doing. We are doing uh, the stuff about what the, what the government should do, what is the government's interest in international financial markets, sort of a broader view seen from society's viewpoint. So, so what topics are included in the course? Um, a good chunk of the course would be about exchange rates and how they are formed. That means there will be material about different exchange rate systems. There will be material about why is the exchange rate increasing in value or decreasing in value. There will be material about what the firms do when they face uh, volatile fluctuating exchange rates. Uh, and a very good part of the course is nowadays about financial crisis because as we have learned recently, financial crises have enormous impact on society, on the overall economy. Um, another part here will be about contagion of financial crisis, that financial crises seem to spread from one country to another country, to a third country. Students taking the course should be interested in international uh, economic conditions. Uh, this is a course which is about what happens in the world of global finance, but it's also a course which, which sort of uh, has importance for each individual in every uh, country because it is about uh, things which can affect every people's everyday life. Uh, say, for example, when uh, a financial crisis uh, appears somewhere in the world. This, the level of the course is relatively high. We are teaching a master course and we will expect to read uh, graduate level textbooks but also articles from the economic uh, scientific literature. And that means that we do expect students to have substantial background in mathematics, in microeconomics, in macroeconomics and in econometrics. All four core areas of economics are very important for understanding the cause, for not getting stuck in mathematics but really getting uh, an understanding of the issues. So a prerequisite for taking the course would be a solid understanding of these four areas. Uh, all my experience with uh, teaching students here in Lithuania has been very positive. Uh, the students have generally been very active in class, asking many questions, uh, providing comments, uh, and this is a very uh, pleasurable experience that uh, I do not feel lonely in the classroom. I feel that I am together with uh, 30 students, which is very nice.